My name is Gretchen Glazer, and I am a gynecologic oncologist at Mayo Clinic. Today, I want to talk to you about an exciting study currently being conducted regarding the simultaneous treatment of endometrial cancer and stress urinary incontinence. Endometrial cancer is the most common gynecologic malignancy in developed countries, affecting over 60,000 women each year. More than three-quarters of cases will be diagnosed at an early stage and are cured with surgery alone. Stress urinary incontinence, or the leakage of urine with coughing, laughing, and sneezing, is also very common in women. In fact, large studies have demonstrated that approximately 50% of middle-aged women experience stress incontinence, with almost 20% reporting moderate to severe symptoms. This disorder can be treated by several different modalities, one of which is a quick outpatient procedure that can easily be performed at the same time as surgery for endometrial cancer. Here at Mayo Clinic, we take a comprehensive approach to the treatment of our patients, and so we were thrilled to be able to join a study which looks at exactly this issue, the combination of treatment for endometrial cancer and stress urinary incontinence. Until recently, very little information has been published about the combination of these procedures. In order to address this, a study was developed by Dr. Katina Robeson at Brown University and funded by the Patient-Centered Outcomes Research Institute, or PCORI. Mayo Clinic is one of several participating sites. In this study, women with endometrial cancer who identify as having leakage of urine with coughing, laughing, or sneezing will be offered an appointment to discuss possible concomitant treatment of her two disorders and then will be followed with questionnaires for one year after surgery. The projected outcome of this study is that results will provide women with endometrial cancer and their providers with important information about the impact of treating stress urinary incontinence at the time of cancer surgery and its effects on quality of life and clinical outcomes. Women and providers will therefore be able to make better choices regarding treating urinary incontinence at the time of endometrial cancer diagnosis. At Mayo Clinic, we strongly believe that treating the whole person is the best way to enhance health and happiness. We are thrilled to be part of this initiative to address an aspect of women's health that is often not addressed and to offer our patients the very best and most comprehensive care available. For information regarding an appointment, please visit us at www.mayoclinic.org.